Hey, so I'm just making a quick video tonight because we just got access to OpenAI's GPTs where you can create your own chatbots and because I wanted to start learning Godot Engine and just game dev in general, I thought maybe I could make a Godot GPT. If you haven't heard already, you can now go on OpenAI's website and make your own GPT, which is essentially a tailor-made version of ChatGPT where you can put your own persona onto it. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video and I'll also give you the link to the one I've created that's helping me code games in Godot. Earlier this year I decided to try and learn the Unity game engine but I had very limited coding experience so I went to ChatGPT and essentially cross-referenced all of my code and asked for advice and troubleshooted through the OpenAI platform. Now it was a lot of brute forcing but I did get the app made and that was incredible for me. I really didn't expect to be able to do that. So when I saw that OpenAI was allowing us to create these GPTs, I thought, wouldn't it be amazing if I could get the entire GitHub repo, which is all open source for the Godot engine and just feed it into ChatGPT. So anytime that I had a question about GD scripts or just how the engine works, I could type in the question and get my answer. And so far, it's looking quite promising. So if you actually go into the link below now, you can get access to this Godot GPT that I've actually made. It was a bit of a job to actually condense down the entirety of Godot's documentation down into .txt files so I could actually feed it into this chatbot. But it's my hope now that if I ever can't find a tutorial or I can't be bothered looking around on Google and searching forums, I can just go directly to Godot GPT to ask my questions and hopefully it'll be able to answer them and send me in the right direction. I've already found with very limited use after tonight, it's teaching me things that I wouldn't have known. It's my first time using the Godot game engine to be fair, so a lot of it's new. But already I'm starting to understand the fundamentals of the engine just through chatting to Godot GPT as I try to make a top-down 2D game. Now, why was I keen to make this? Well, I just wanted a more streamlined version of what I did for my previous projects in Unity. I used ChatGPT a lot to really hone the code and figure out a good pipeline for the work. When I saw that we had access to GPTs, I just thought this could be a more refined version of that. And because we've got access to the Godot GitHub repository and all of their documentation, I thought, wouldn't it just be an amazing tool if we had the power of a large language model like ChatGPT with all the information of Godot and GD script? Now, does it work? I haven't tested it enough to be able to see, but I'm just really excited and wanted to put it out there because if you're, if you're like me and you want to try and learn game dev and you don't know a way in, this might be a nice little entry for you. Just ask it a question. <laughs> see if you get the right answer. I put the link in the description below so you can check it out to test it. And uh, I'm hoping it gets better because ultimately, wouldn't it be amazing if we could just talk to a chatbot and it explains the engine to us in a user-friendly way and it teaches us how to code along the way as well. That would be amazing. And with that, I'm going to teach you how to make your own GPT so you can make your own if you don't want to use mine. But more than anything else, I'm just really excited for the wider implications of this technology. It's really simple to make a GPT if you've already got a paid subscription with OpenAI. You just have to go into the software in your browser and then you'll get this little bit that says create a GPT beta. You click into that and you have another window and you just start typing in what you want. So... Let's say we wanted to come up with a GPT that knows GD scripts because we're going to be using Godot Engine. We just start typing out what we want it to do. Hi GPT, I'd like a bot that can help me make games using GD scripts in the Godot Engine. So what it tends to do is give you a summary clarifying that it's understood what you've asked of it and it usually gives you a name so it said Godot game helper would you like that I'm going to say yes and then it's going to take a little while to generate a profile picture and this is going to be the little icon that sits in the window now I'm not a massive fan of what it's given us so you can actually change what you want it to look like because it's using DALI 3 you just have to give it a bit of a description there you go it's given us another option how does this one look? Would you like any further adjustments? For the time being, I'm just going to say, I like this. Even though it could be better, if I'm honest. But 
it'll do it'll do for the tutorial and it's actually quite good because it'll ask you a set of questions to really help niche down on what you want this chatbot to be what's evident to me from this is it actually does a lot of the setting up itself it just knows the right questions to ask anyway which is absolutely crazy and there we go a casual friendly helper for gd script and godot engine game development now you can refine it even further which is a pretty interesting thing let's try and make it so it's 2d focused so i put hey can you put a focus on 2d game development for your niche so you can have this conversation back and forward with the gpt builder but if you click on this little configure button up here you'll actually see that you have a lot more options now we did get a name before the godot game helper so let's go and throw that into the top then it's given us a bunch of instructions just from the conversation and then a couple of starting questions and you have the abilities here to let it search the web create images and use code interpreter which we'd want if it's going to be doing gd scripts now for my godot gpt that i've made i've actually uploaded a bunch of .txt files in here now that's really really important if you want to specialize your chatbot with more tailored information i've used the github repo for godot and i've just put all of the information that i could grab into these .txt files and I've uploaded it, it's all open source, and hopefully when I come to make games in the future, it'll mean that I have a chatbot that fully understands the engine and has a good grasp of GD scripts and can help me along the way. It's proven already that it can do that with a little bit of pushing, but I'm excited to see how this develops further. Now let's just test it out to see that it's worked. So I've just asked it, hey Godot Game Helper, how do I create a health bar in the Godot engine using GD script? We'll see what comes back. Creating a health bar in Godot using GD script is a great way to visually represent a player's health in your 2D game. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you set this up. And there we go. It talks about creating a scene, scripting the health bar. It gives us a GD script where it's just typing it out. Now I'm commentating a little faster than it can go, which, uh, I still kind of can't believe that it goes this quick to be fair when it's just riffing all this code out and all this information it's mental it's given us rules for updating the health bar as well and it's talked about testing and it's given a bunch of tips as well now I would have to double check to see if all of that works by getting into it but it's a nice start now I've built the Godot GPT bot in a very similar way but you'll see if I go into it and go to edit GPT and I go to my configuration, there's a couple of little extra things that I've thrown in here. So for example, I've got, and I think this is probably the key part, as well as the knowledge documents that I've grabbed from the Godot GitHub repository is probably the most important bit, which is answer questions about game development and the Godot game engine to the best of your ability. You should consider coding based answers in GD script Try to give answers that reflect Godot version 4.1 and later. If the answer is not directly in the transcripts, then do your best to infer, impute, or otherwise guess what the answer would be. Just tell the user that you don't have the exact answer and that you're speculating. And then here, I've got a bunch of documents pulled from the Godot GitHub repository and turned into the .txt files. I have web browsing enabled, DALI image generation enabled and code interpreter enabled. So what are the wider implications of this technology? Well, looking purely from a game dev perspective, if you are an indie dev, you can have GPTs that are specifically designed to help you with your code. If you need to troubleshoot problems, you can have a debugger GPT. You can have one that looks to refine your code so it's more manageable and lightweight. In terms of writing, you could actually build character personas into the bot itself. Now this isn't to take away the creative side of your writing, you could still define your characters, but you could have much more believable character arcs if you treat your chatbot as a writing partner that has all of the psychometrics, the motivations, the character traits of your character all built in, and it just remembers it all the time. There's just so much that we'll be able to do. And we'll have to see where AI art generation goes in terms of the culture, but I don't think again that it should replace artists. I just think that it should be a tool used to give artists a bit of a speed boost to help them with a bit more variation for getting ideas down. 
And I think that could be really cool too, especially for item customization. I expect us to get to a point where you'll just be able to upload a sword and have a billion different variations if you want, and that's all baked in as well. Billion might be a slight exaggeration there, but it just makes me excited. As someone who doesn't have the resources to access a wider team, it makes me think that if I put in the hard work, the time and effort, I could make some pretty big projects on my own or with a limited squad. Because if you've done anything creative, there's nothing worse than spending two to three years making something that hardly anyone touches. At least now, if we make something and no one plays it, maybe it's only taken us six months to do so. But regardless of all that, I was just really excited to see that OpenAI has put out their GPT architecture now so you can just mess around with it and have a bit of a play. It'd be so cool to me if anyone wanted to pick up on game dev or who knew could do already could have a bit of a play around with it and let me know if it's working for them if it's a load of rubbish if they think we're miles away from it being useful for me it's just cool to troubleshoot and have these conversations and learn a new game engine with the actual knowledge base of godot itself there's something so valuable having a large language model that just knows everything about the engine from my limited use of it, it doesn't always get things right, but if you pester it and say, hang on a minute, that doesn't seem to exist anymore, are you looking at an older version, is there a new update, is, have things changed, can you search for me, it'll look for it in the information, and it's already corrected itself and given me useful information in the process. So I'm really excited to see what happens. And if you did want to mess around with the bot, all you need is a chat GPT plus subscription to have a bit of a go. And I'm hoping if I play around with this long enough, then hopefully I'll get my first 2D game done. And that will be a lifelong dream achieved. But for the time being, I'm just going to leave you with the tool if you want to have a play around with it. And hopefully me showing you how to make something similar will be sparking ideas for you and you'll be getting excited. I'm trying to take a much less fearful approach to AI and now I've just seen all the opportunity that's going to come with it. So I am terrified, but I'm also so interested to see what everyone is going to do with this. We're going to see some absolutely crazy indie games come about, same for films and animation. It's all going to happen in the next couple of years and I think it's going to become very accessible as well. So even if you don't have a absolutely huge team of people and you don't have millions to spend, you're going to start seeing some bedroom producers and game devs just making some of the most insane, crazy, cool stuff ever. And it could be you. Maybe it'll be me. I don't know. We'll have to see. All right. That's all I wanted to say. See ya.